Excuse it. I absolutely can't stand the fact that like this plugin, I love it. Uh, it's like the perfect Daft Punk phaser, or it is the Daft Punk phaser basically. Um, but for like the preset that they use also consists of a delay. I, most of the time I do not want to hear the delay. I just want the phaser. Um, but then like actually turning off the delay, there's no button to turn off the delay. You have to like adjust the feedback until it's at like 0.0. .0. <laughs> it's like the biggest pet peeve. Um... over this part. I'm not gonna spend too much time on this section yet because I wanna like do whatever comes after pretty soon and then like I can Everybody knows catch me or I go hooting I come and I go Tell me all the ways you'll keep me I'm not here for long 
Catch me or I go Houdini, I come and I go Prove you got the right to please me Everybody knows Catch me or I go Houdini, I come and I go Tell me all the ways you need me I'm not here for long Catch me or I go Houdini, I come and I go Prove you got the right to please me Everybody knows Catch me or I go Houdini, I come and I go I love the fact that they put the fucking emoji key right next to the delete key. So every time you're trying to get rid of something, you have a small chance you get emojis instead. Um, no, it was right. I like that. Um, maybe not every time. I don't have it every time. Hell yeah, let's go. Um, um, Cool stuff. All right, now we're in. Um, I have like an hour and a half to go, and then I need to go. Um, so I think we we should be good to get to this into a nice place before that. Yeah. Um, yeah, I've spoken about this before, but it's like that. The moment between like. Starting and having the initial sort of like inspiration of where this is going and then actually getting there, like that's always the worst. And I like, I didn't expect this to sound like this at all, but um, yeah. Now it's chill. Now I can just do my thing. But like when you don't really have anything and everything feels kind of awful, <laughs> it's, it's hard to keep like convince yourself to keep going. And that's why I like doing those streams because that will like it will force me to like just kind of like keep going and try different ideas and just sort of like also get like fun like fun and like fantastic ideas from you guys so um yeah it's fun yeah it sounded cool like doing like a lower octave thing on the lead as well
Cool. Maybe that should be an octave higher. Alright, it's cool. Down low. I wish there was a way, like when you have like trills like that or like grace notes, like I wish there was a way to like quantize them in a way where it doesn't like pull them to the same spot. Like it would use the only the first or the second note as like the guide and then it would keep the shape of the grace note. Now I have to do this shit. I'm sure someone could be figure out like something like Matzo. Otherwise, the second take was better. I'll use my favorite plugin on synths, which is Waves CLA Guitars. I've been using this on synths for like. 12 years at this point. That's oh, nice. It just gives every, everything a nice little sheen. I mean, maybe not the delay here. Not the reverb either. All right. I'm starting to get a little hungry. I might go and grab some snacks. Um, from it actually even though conventional wisdom will say that like you should cut the lemon from stuff like that but like I, I like the fact that it's a little more solid maybe we should even add like a base that will like do this movement but all right i'll be back in like oh wait i'll be back in like a minute or two i'll just go grab some snacks and i'll be right back <laughs> <laughs> 
The basses that I use here, um, one of them is a PJ bass. Um, Uh, where are we? I just dropped my food. Anyway, um, yeah, one of them is like a uh, PJ bass and um, like a Fender style with both the jazz bass and the precision bass pickups. And then another one is a Hefner. Those are the ones that I use. Like a, the other one is like the Beatles bass, basically. <laughs> Everybody knows Catch me or I go Catch me or I go Catch me or I go All right, cool. Um, so yeah, I'll, I'll just get going and like add stuff here. Um, yeah, I was thinking of doing like a bass that will that will do the um do the the uh, <laughs> I, I can't speak. Um, do the bass notes. Also, if you want to get a uh, cheap uh, little bass. Uh, I had the Squire Bronco bass for a while, and it's like 150 euros or something, and it's it's actually really good. 
So yeah, look it up. Squire Bronco bass. You might need to get it set up uh, like a, a instrument store or something, but if you do that, it's actually surprisingly nice. <laughs> It's the wrong. trying to figure out if what's the right way to go Thank you. 
Nobody, but I kind of like it. I'm always trying to rip off Ain't Nobody. On a spiritual level, not an actual musical level. Pretty good in the intro. That works. I just need to figure out where we are going after it. Um, let me play some synths for a little bit, or maybe even just put put in the um, put in the uh, piano somehow. the bongos Spiritually ripping off uh, the Seinfeld scene. Um, maybe let's let's try. Maybe that's a section that it breaks down to afterwards. Um, let me let me just put in the chords and see how we can piece this together. Um, where's the? Everybody knows. Catch me, I go look at you. 
messed up the... Messed up the sensitivity. It's not really a proper A, because I, I was playing a little sloppy, but it doesn't matter.
gonna try some other tones as well. I'm gonna basically, basically trying to come up with like some kind of a melodic motif that like you can feel good about listening to. Wait, wait what am I searching for? T H U. Oh my god, the latency is so bad. This is like one of the worst things about Ableton is that like you it's not as easy to get rid of the latency. Well I'm running like a high buffer state as well, but Obviously, blaming the late latency for my awful playing. No, but that's one of the things that's better on Logic for sure. Because on, on Ableton, the reduced latency thing doesn't really d reduce all of it. Like, if you have some latency inducing plugins on the pro project, like that doesn't get rid of all of the latency caused by them. So. Anyway, I'm just gonna come up with like something that will I would love to have it on the strings to be honest. Just because the strings like the sound. No, but like, it's it's tough because like, the things that sound good on the guitar don't sound good on the strings at all.
really a tertiary bitch is more like a background thing and then like yeah i'll still keep on building um just the thing that i liked the most still was the um uh the sort of more uh ain't nobody type like more like a looping Bright, clean. These tones are insane. Um... something like cool about like it's still like a little cheap sounding like it needs to be as cheap but not, not in the wrong way there's also something weird with the electronics here um specifically with this guitar <laughs> in the strings too um you can do like key switches and stuff as well um blah, 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 blah. damn 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 or do they do slides they do like Wait, maybe I need to be on the violin one to do like legato and stuff. Violins, disco falls, yeah. 
Maybe actually I should be on violence all the way through because they also the mix is a little nicer and louder on these. <laughs> but wait, how do I? Oh, yeah, there, there we go. Maybe I should be on the this thing, but then I don't get all of the. A call, call and response thing where like the guitar does one of the things and then the strings do another thing and then they it all ends up working out somehow all right let me find it the little thing I played. I'm a little rusty, but that's actually why I'm doing this. Like, just to like... Because um, I've been noticing like... Um, or like, I noticed that like, when I was streaming, like, the actual like, day-to-day -day music making that I do was also easier. Because uh, you just get into a... You just get into a headspace of not caring because, like, you just have to be moving forward. And I haven't been <laughs> today. Uh, but you're supposed to be. Wait, what's it called? The Pulsar EQ. Maybe I should use the API because it's been nice. I just don't like how you have to turn on all these modules before you can use them. I just want a little bit more sand in the sound. 
Maybe the Spectre will help us. Yeah, I really need to put that on. Maybe just freeze it and put it on a different track. Um, nobody's been complaining about the balance between the music and the voice, by the way, so I assume it's all right. I'm still, like, going to fine-tune it. Um, but, yeah, I dialed in a quick, like, a gated uh, compressed uh, vocal setting for the mic before the stream. Um, unfreeze. that either um i feel like i'm close but um i just need to commit where's there's maybe i should do this on a Can't go wrong with the fall. Yeah, I think like it just needs to be something super simple like that with the right kind of like sort of in between uh, melodies and flourishes and stuff. Yeah, I like that. Like, just putting in one string thing helped, like, make that melody feel good for me. Um,
I think I'll double the um dun, 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 dun. Dun, 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 dun. Oh wait, they're still in the fucking disco fall mode. Uh where do we go? This used to be a lot better uh, on the contact. Uh, what was it? Six? I still have it. Um, where's the... I wonder if it's better with the... Alright, I'm gonna turn off the monitoring here and just play with this so I can actually play without latency. leave this open and this to like to do it with the strings instead uh, all right <laughs> had the levels like just set all kinds of wrong all right let's just go full <laughs> Somewhere. 
after two hours. there's a nice thing about ableton too is that like i can just like i mean you could do this on logic in a different way too but i finally figure out a way to do it on a ableton where uh oh no wait what maybe it doesn't work the way i want it to now no never mind <laughs> i have to do the jobs by hand this is one of the I, th I kind of figured out a way of doing it, but not really. Um, like copying this chop pattern over here. Um, you can kind of do it with the option shift drag thing, but it doesn't always work. And then if it doesn't work, then I don't know what to do. Um, and like everybody I ask about it, uh, nobody knows. Everybody has ideas, but then I shoot the ideas down and then yeah, nobody knows. <laughs> Oh yeah, Dr. Plector asked about the uh, U-turn sessions I've been doing. Um, it's been a lot of fun. Um, we've been just kind of messing around, really. Um, hopefully there's some music in the future, but... But mostly I'm just, like, in awe <laughs> of the skills of the guy, because it's insane. Yeah, that was kind of what, what I was playing on the guitar, but it's better on the on the strings, maybe. Oh, oh, oh. 
wanted to play it a little better. Vibrato makes it too hair metal. It's still too fast, the slide up. Maybe more like that. I still can't get over the fact that I can see this, like the spectrogram of my voice and like the frequency response of every word I say. <laughs> <laughs> 